Hello friends, Tony here. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at this Intersect plugin. And Alpine's Intersect plugin is a convenience wrapper for intersection observer that allow you to easily react when an element enters the viewport. And this is useful for lazy loading images, other content, uh, triggering animations, infinite scrolling. We're going to take a look at this one also etc and you can use this plugin by either including it from a script tag or installing it via npm and we can see here is the cdn okay and i have created a project here is the project and i have used this uh, with cdn but also you can install through uh, npm and you can run the npm install at alpine.js slash intersect and then initialize it from your bundle saying alpine.plugin passing the name of the plugin and here we have imported that okay as i told you i have created a project and i have seen uh, 100 users here and i have displayed the name and the email of each user and here is the project in the dashboard i have added the has one welcome and a live wire component and in the class of that component i just added users and say user all to get all the users and in the blade a div with x data to be shown false now this is false and a div and here i make a for us users displaying the username and user email and then here we have another div and saying x show if this shown is true but this right now is false and here i display the image which i have in here and is a huge image and then I have added also another div with class border2 and this div is going to have a min head screen and I added a flex, justify center and items center because I want this div to be in the center of this one which is a min head screen and just to be visible I added a with full border2 and border indigo 400 now just let me show you if we scroll down in here yeah here is the this div with the border 2 and min head screen and then in the center of this one we have uh, this border indigo 400 as you can see okay now how we can use this uh, plugin so the primary API for using this plugin is the x-intersect and you can add x dash intersect to any element within an alpine component and when that component enters the viewport is scrolled uh, into the view so when this component is scrolled into the view the provided expression will execute and for example in the following snippets the shown will remain false until the element is scrolled into the view okay so here we have x data shown false and x intersect shown true until this element is scrolled into the view this is going to be false and when this is scrolled into the view this expression will execute which means this shown is going to be true and then here we have x show show and x transition and it's going to show this i mean the viewport okay so let's use this x uh, intersect now in our project i'm going to copy this and paste it in this div okay save so in uh, in this div here and just let me add a class here to say margin bottom of four okay yeah now here we have this div and now it's going to show the image because we say here x intersect shown the true so it's going to change this the true and here we have x show the show if that is true it's going to show the image if we pass this or let's cut and paste it in this one okay let's refresh not here 
it's coming in already fresh. I'm going to scroll down. And because we don't see this div, it's not going to show the image. Instead, if we show that div now, yeah, now it's going to show that image. Okay. Another one, here we have also modifiers. We have uh, ons, also we have half here. So evaluates the expression, ons the intersection, thresholds exceed the 0.5. So when a 0.5 of the element is in the viewport, is going to execute the expression. And let's use this uh, dot half here in our project, but I'm not going to add here anymore. I'm going to move up here and say dot half. And now the half of this div, this element is when we show this one. Okay. And when we show this, it's going to execute the show to true, which means it's going to display the image. Let's see. Let's come here. And I'm going to first come up here and refresh. And then if we scroll down, as you can see, if we if I leave a little bit, it's not going to show the image until we navigate. We see this div, which is a border indigo 400, which means this is in the half of this one. And then if that is shown, it means this is half and it's going to execute the shown to true. So let's see. If I come here, now it's going to execute and now it's going to show the image. Also, we have this pool. So if we scroll a little bit down, now the pool is when a 0.99 of the element is in the viewport, which means almost when all this element is in the viewport, so let's do that. Let's say full here. Until this view, this uh, element is full in the viewport, this shown is going to remain false. So let's see. Let's come up here and refresh. Scroll down. Now, if I leave like this, it's not going to show the image. So we have the half here, but it's going to show only if we have almost the full uh, element, which is this div with this border in the view right now. As you can see, here is the image. Now, uh, one more thing is the, how we can use this to make an infinite scrolling. So in our project, we have render all the users here, but let's change that. Let's say I'm going to create a property here, a public property. And let's say uh, amount dollar sign amount to be not zero but ten. And by default, I'm going to get I'm going to show only ten users. So let's say take and this amount get yeah. Okay. Now if I come here and refresh, well, it's going to show only ten users. So if scroll up, yeah, only 10 users now. And uh, I'm going to add a method here. Not render, but I'm going to say load. And what this load is going to do is going to change this amount to be equal with uh, this amount plus that. Okay. And then in the example here, instead of showing this image, I'm going to add the button here. So let's say X, a primary button. And I'm going to add the wire click. And when we click, we are going to call that load method. And let's say just load for now. And let's come here and refresh. And as you can see, we don't see that a lot because we have here X show and this X shown is if it's going to show only if the shown is true, but this shown is going to be true only if uh, this element is full in the viewport. Okay, so here we have uh, 10 of them. 
but uh, we don't need now the full to have the min head screened so for that I'm going to remove all the classes we have here and save and as you can see immediately it's going to show uh, 20 not only 10 and just let me inspect the element here go to the network and if we scroll down it's going to make again update and show 30 and also if we scroll down it's going to say 40 and so on so when you scroll down is going to show more uh, users and more users and more users and more users until we hit 100 okay that's it 100 and uh, that's it all about this video i hope you enjoy friends and don't forget if you like such a videos subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much